In today's activity, we're going to go ahead and create a digital story using another tool called Adobe Spark. So in this video that you're going to be creating, which is really a series of slides, you're going to be telling us about yourself, right? Giving us more information about you. You can share about your family, your culture, your community, your ancestry, any languages that you speak, any traditions that you celebrate, um, your personality, or other ideas if you have more. So we have listed here some tips for how you can be successful in that. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the steps here in this video. So first step is to go ahead down here to click on this link to get into Adobe Spark. As Adobe Spark opens up, we have a district account. So we're gonna click over here to log in with your school's account. You're gonna click that you want to continue with Google. And then when you're given this option, you're going to choose the enterprise ID, which is actually your school's account. So after all of that, it should hop you right into Adobe Spark. Now, Adobe Spark can do all kinds of really cool things, creating web pages and presentations and Instagram posts and all kinds of stuff. Today, we're going to go ahead and do this slideshow. So you're going to click right here to open up a brand new slideshow with no information in it. I've actually already started mine. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my existing project, but you'll start a brand new one. Now, what this is, is there are a whole bunch of slides that you can create down here at the bottom. And the way you add a new one is by simply touching the plus sign. And on those slides, you're going to be telling a story. So the story about yourself. So here's my first slide where I've literally just written um, my story by myself. Over on the right here, you have a choice of how you want that slide to look, how you want it to be laid out. I chose this one right here, um, title and text. So there's the title, here is my text. If I click on it, I can go ahead and make it bigger or smaller, right? If I wanted to be more specific or I wanna change what the text is. Now on this slide right here, um, it actually is gonna go ahead and progress through all of my slides to actually create a little bit of a movie when we're all done. So I have my story written right there and you'll notice right here, I have the ability to record my own voice. So I held this down and I said the title, My Story by Carrie. And if you want to hear that back or see what this slide looks like, you can play it back with this arrow right here. My Story by Carrie. Okay, so there is my voice in the middle of my movie just on this slide. If I want my voice on other slides, I can go ahead and do the exact same thing. If I wanna watch the whole movie, I'm gonna to touch this playback button right here where I can see the entire movie, slide after slide after slide. Now, it was about myself, so I gave information about where I was born, I gave information about where my ancestors were, are from, and I gave information about um, the languages or, sadly only one language that I currently speak. And I was adding a new slide here. I was gonna give information about some traditions. I was gonna talk about some dishes that perhaps my family always makes. So that is how you're gonna go about creating more and more slides and to make sure that you have a nice complete um, little movie. Now, you notice that all of my slides are kind of in the same color scheme. And that's the theme over here on the right. So if I choose theme, you can totally change this up. So let's pretend, and it's gonna change everything. So you'll notice over here in mountain, it has different colors I could choose. And it also has different transitions. It looks like it opens in sort of a circle and, and the, the words bounce. So if I want mountain done in, goodness, this grayish, greenish color, you'll notice, look, it changed all of my slides down below here. So all of them are in that matching theme. So the theme is totally up to you. You can choose whether you want your movie to be widescreen, so seen pretty easily on a computer screen or TV, or whether you'd rather it be square. So that orientation is up to you. And you probably heard mine also has music. So you can listen to a piece of music and the music runs throughout your whole movie. So when you're done, you're gonna go up to the top here where it says to share. And we're gonna go ahead and do this option right here where it says to publish. So you're gonna publish and that just means making it shareable. You're gonna have a button right here that says, yes, you want to publish. I made some changes, so it's gonna go ahead and update my, um, my video. So if you go back to make some changes, you need to go make sure and update your links. The link is has the most current version of your movie when you're ready to publish. Okay, and I'm gonna pretend that it's done with that. 
because it's taking too long for me, for my patience during the video. So right here, after it's done publishing, it's gonna create this link for you. And that's the link that we want you to turn into your teacher. So you can click right here on copy and it will copy that link for you. So you're ready to share your project with your class and your teacher. I'm gonna head back to my Canvas page. And when you are done with your video, you'll click officially here to start the assignment. And down at the bottom, you have this box right here. And I am going to paste my um, video right inside there. I could give a comment to my teacher if I wanted to, and I would just click right here that I want to submit that assignment. And that is it. So get going, be creative, have fun making your very own um, Adobe Spark videos and sharing them in Canvas.